CloudWays tutorial. Free server setup during CloudWays free trial. This is getting started with CloudWays. And kung bago ka sa channel na to and gusto mo pa ng mga online tutorial videos katulad nito, click mo na ang subscribe button at notification bell para maging updated ka. So, from previous video, pinakita namin yung process or yung step-by-step -step guide para makapag-register sa CloudWays and na-verify na rin yung account natin. And by using the CloudWays PH na code, pwede ka makakuha ng 20% off discount sa first month mo dito sa CloudWays. And for now, pag mag-create ka ng account, naka-free trial ka pa lang, ibig sabihin wala pang cost, pwede na makapag-launch ng server dito sa CloudWays. And also, ipakita ko na rin yung nakita naming document about free trial ng CloudWays. Dito, meron tayong free trial for 3 days. Wala sa ating hihingi na credit card and may experience natin yung best hosting platform kung saan yung offer yung mga features. So, click natin to. Ito yung mga features na pwede natin take advantage during the free trial. And during the free trial, pwede natin ma-maximize yung paggamit ng CloudWays. And also, as mentioned dito, during the trial period nga, pwede tayo makapag-launch ng server and deploy an application. And pwede rin mag-migrate ng site to check all the functionalities and see kung everything is working fine. And later on, mag-upgrade tayo to full account which is ipapakita namin sa separate video dito sa CloudWays na playlist. So, balik tayo sa CloudWays and mag-launch na tayo or mag-create na tayo ng server. And yung pag-launch is nandito yan. So, right-click natin and then open it in a new tab and open natin siya dito. So, ito yung step-by-step -step guide para makapag-launch ng bagong server dito sa CloudWays. Pero kung meron ka existing server, na-cover din yan dito sa process document na to or sa how to launch a new application on a new server na online page nila. And let's proceed. Try na natin siyang gawin. And let's see kung magkaka-error ba tayo or magiging mabilis lang ba yung process. So, balik tayo sa CloudWays. And click ko na yung launch. And by default, for applications and server details, yung application dito is naka WordPress. So, by the time na pinapanood nyo tong video na to, most likely, iba na yung version na nakikita nyo. Pero at the time of recording, naka version 5.7 yung ina-offer dito. That's for WordPress. And again, ito yung default. So, kung hindi ito yung gagamitin ninyo, click nyo lang to, and then pili kayo ng ibang application na gagamitin nyo. Like, pwede yung WooCommerce, PHP, Laravel, Magento. Ito yung mga application na listed dito. Pwedeng by the time na pinapanood nyo nga to, or gagawin nyo to, pwedeng updated o nadagdagan na yung mga features na meron dito. Since WordPress yung gagamitin ko application, i-keep ko to as it is. And then, kailangan kong kompletuhin yung the rest ng details dito. Kung ano yung name ng managed app, kung ano yung name ng server, and also ano din yung name ng project. And as mentioned dito, ito yung uh, way to sort or categorize yung apps natin into different projects or clients. So, lagay ko lang dito is... So, for all, lagay ko na lang is same name. And also, this one. And next step naman is mamimili na tayo ng server provider. And actually, na-mention din yan dito sa step 2. Ito yung part na yon. So, balik tayo sa Cloudways. And by default, Digital Ocean yung naka-highlight. So, 3 days free trial for Digital Ocean. Pwede yung basahin to further. So far, ito yung one of the cheapest clouds that also offers high-performance SSD-based storage with seven data centers in three counties. So, pwede nyo itong basahin, like for this one, ito rin may three days free trial. For Vulture, three days free trial then. For AWS, wala ako nakikita free trial unlike sa iba. And also for Google. And prior to this uh, recording, na-research na namin kung ano yung gusto naming server, which is yung Vulture nga. Sa inyo, again, na-mention ko na to sa previous video, mag-search muna kayo, i-compare nyo muna sa pricing kung ano yung fit na plans para sa inyo. So, proceed na tayo and click ko yung Vulture. And for server size, kailangan nating mamili dito. Pwede nating i-scale to yung server size whenever required daw. So, dito, palitan ko muna to ng high frequency. And then, tapat natin yung mouse natin dito for more info. And pakita ko rin, kung makapansin nyo, nagbabago yung amount dito sa bandang baba. So, palik tayo sa standard. Nagbago siya. $44 monthly. Pag binaba ko pa from 4 gig to 2 gig, ito siya, may 2 gigabyte RAM, 55 gigabyte SSD disk, 2 terabyte transfer, and 1 core processor yung naka-assigned for this. Naging $23 siya monthly. 
and hindi tayo charge during trial period as mentioned dito drag ko to sa 1 gig so 11 dollars lang siya per month ang maganda rito is nabibigyan ka na ng information kung magkano ibabayaran mo after no trial period which is yung 3 days nga so balik ko to sa high frequency and 4 gigabyte siya napunta i-drag ko to sa 1 gig kasi sa previous video ang pinakita ko kasi is yung plan na lowest available for high frequency and ito nga yung plan na yon 13 dollars per month and ito equivalent niya per per hour so, pag dinrag ko to dito, nadadagdagan siya monthly. Ito yung charges niya. And also, ipapakita rin niya yung specs dito sa bandang baba. Meron ditong warning na on trial, you can only launch a server up to 4 gigabyte size. So, yun yung isa sa mga na-experience natin na kapag more than 4 gig, magkakaroon tayo ng error. So, for free trial, up to 4 gigabyte lang ang pwede for this server. And kung sakali talagang gusto na natin to, kailangan na natin i-upgrade yung account natin wherein kailangan natin i-answer or mag-provide ng credit card information dito sa Cloudways. So, balik ko to sa 1 gig kasi ito talaga yung napili ko. And as we choose or change yung RAM, which is yung 1 gigabyte nga, meron itong recommendation na for those with higher traffic, maybe 2 gigabyte or higher yung nire-recommend nila. Yung 1 gig daw kasi is for WordPress staging or yung mga low traffic na websites. So sa akin, okay pa rin yung 1 gig despite this recommendation. And let's see kung ano mangyayari. Papakita namin yung mga experience namin sa mga succeeding videos. And next is location naman. Ang tingin namin best practice is laging piliin yung pinakamalapit sa lugar nyo. Like for Philippines, ang pinakamalapit is, I think, Singapore. So piliin ko tong Asia Pacific Singapore. And the review ko na lahat ng information dito. So sa inyo i-double check niyo muna bago kayo mag-proceed. So ito yung cost and pay as you go to. You will not be charged during the trial period nga. And also wala pa tayong enter na credit card information dito. So click ko na tong launch now. And napunta tayo sa page na to kung saan ang status is adding server pa din. Meron dito nakalagay na approximately 13 minutes para ma-process or para mag-up nga yung server na sinetup lang natin. And habang naghihintay dito sa pag-add ng server, pwede nyo rin i-double check yung video na dinidisplay nila dito. Ito naman is about sa pag-migrate kung meron kang existing na WordPress website. Pwede mo siya i-migrate uh, dito sa Cloudways within few clicks daw. So pwede mo itong i-play while you are waiting kung applicable sa'yo yung video na pinoprovide dito. And up na yung server na ginawa natin. Sabi dito sa tutorial na pin-repair ng Cloudways, you can view your new application once the installation is complete. Ito yung itsura sa tutorial or sa document and ito rin siya sa Cloudways na nakikita natin ngayon. So, pwede nating i-check or i-click yung www button on the target server para ma-view yung application. So, click natin to And click ko tong www applications installed on this server. So, naka WordPress application and ito yung name na inilagay ko kanina which is MediaTek Library. And click natin to Let's see kung ano mangyayari. So, ito yung server. Vulture siya. Yung apps is WordPress. And meron dito mga application management na pwede yung i-check further once na ma-create nyo na or ma-setup nyo na yung server dito sa Cloudways. So, ito yung iba pang mga information. And then, click natin to Let's see kung ano mangyayari. So, launch natin yung app. And open siya to another tab. And ito na yung mismong WordPress na website. And from here, pwede nyo nang i-customize yung WordPress site ninyo na naka-host or naka-include dito as apps sa Cloudways. And that's it. So, nakapag-setup na tayo ng server dito sa Cloudways. And yung mga succeeding videos is ipopost na lang namin dito sa playlist ng Cloudways sa MediaTek Library. So, you may check this for additional videos about this. And sana nakatunong tong video na to kung oo, click ang like button. And this is MediaTek Library. See you sa next video. Bye-bye!